Why Zeus get the fix? What's going on? Calm down, such a fuss. We're waiting for Batamix. I'm afraid he's late, as usual. He's here. Please forgive my tardiness, my friend. I left the ring on under a cauldron. How are you? Right the sunlight, but we'll be even righter when get the... Shh! Uh, I will come to the point. You all know of Caesar's plans to conquer the Gaulish village. <clears throat> uh, my village. Not news, huh? Well, I believe... He's a druid's whisker away from succeeding. By Zeus. By Belanus. By Odin. Bye bye. What weapon you get, I think? Thanks to your potions and give superhuman strength to your warriors. Your village needn't fear the Romans. To overcome your village, Caesar would need to give his legions a power even more greater than yours. And I don't know of anybody who could harness such a great power. Max, it does, of course. Precisely. Bravo! Encore! It's your room, as we say in Rome. <laughs> Marvelous, dear fellow. A fine brace of druids. They are yours, noble Caesar. Make good use of them. Count on me, Getterfix. Take them away! Traitor? Who are you to talk about our druid like that? My name is Sam Schiffer, Gaul, and I should know a traitor when I see one. I'm a traitor myself. Traitor to Rome. I'll not betray treachery till treason has reason of Caesar. Pretty, but I didn't understand a word of what he said, Asterix. So you have the gall to come to our village? To slander our druid without evidence? And what's more, you even admit to being a traitor? Yes, well, I'm on your side now, Gaul. Let him finish his story, Asterix. It's true that Getafix has been a bit odd lately. You know, last week, he didn't even want to give me any magic potion. But he doesn't ever give you magic potion, Obelix. You fell in the cauldron when you was little, and that doesn't make our Getafix a traitor. You're not going to believe the first Roman that comes by. Why, Tutatis? He's gone! Just like the thief. I'm here, Gold. You wanted evidence? I've got evidence! Getafix is golden sickle! By Tutatis, if Getafix was here, I'm sure he could give us an explanation of this whole story. But Belenos alone knows where he is now. He's in Las Vegum. What's that, Las Vegum? Las Vegum, located in the heart of Rome, the city of luxury and pleasure is dedicated to the pursuit of sporting entertainment for the greater happiness of Romans everywhere. Las Vegum is round-the-clock gladiator combat to the goriest death. It's skimpily clad slaves fed to hungry lions seven days a week. But Las Vegum is above all a unique welcome and a festival atmosphere every day of the week in a fairy tale setting. Cross the romantic hills of Utisha as if you were really there. Laugh out loud with the joyful antics of Pirate Island and spend an unforgettable night in the pure opulence of Caesar's Palace. Las Vegum, the Roman holiday you'll never forget. A Jules Caesar production. A city for games? These Romans are crazy. Asterix, you and Obelix are going to Rome. It's the only way to discover why Getafix has betrayed us. To discover if he betrayed us by the statistics. Well, yes, that's what I was going to say. I'll come with you, Cole. Stay well away from us, Sam Schiffer. This whole thing stinks of a trap. But we have no choice. Right, all, let's go, Obelix.
What should we do, Asterix? Should I knock? No, Obelix, you'll break it! Well, yes, of course. Psst! Look, Asterix, it's our friend the traitor. You can't get in through the main door, Goals. The park isn't open to the public yet. But I know a secret entrance there. Behind that block. Over to you, Obelix. Hold this, please, traitor. <laughs> Let's go, Obelix! We wait for you, Sam Schiffer. Go on ahead, go on ahead. I'll catch you up.
Hunter, you will need to find a way to open this door, which is locked by an ultra-modern security system. You see the four torches. At the moment, they're all out. But as soon as they are lit, da -da -da, the door will open. It's a bit strange. It is said to be an infallible security system. Then how do we light these pesky torches? Reach each of the torches twins in this room. Bash the torch a bit and presto, light will burst through the darkness. I'll open the first room and I'll wait for you there. Sometimes you may have to use your noodle. For example, could Obelix pass through this little passage? Of course not! But who's he talking to, Asterix? I don't know, Obelix. This character is worrying me more and more. Thank <laughs> you. 
Meet me in the next room. This platform attached to a cape reminds you of anything? You should know it's evolved a bit. Asterix is still the only one that can climb on board, but to move it, Obelix now only has to stand on the spot marked on the floor to grab the rope. No need to hold the button down. by lowering this little rampart. Try pushing this little stone block. First, get close to it. There's no need to press the button. Everything takes care of itself. Ain't progress a fine thing. Is he taking us for fools, Asterix? I know how to push a little stone. I'm more worried about that button he keeps on talking about. Using the block, you should be able to reach the ledge up above.
Well done, Balls. All the torches are alight. You're not heroes for nothing. Careful now. You're about to enter into the heart of Las Vegas. Proceed with caution. A little birdie told me that a druid is being held prisoner in Little Venezia. It might be Getter Dixon, as I know he is very well guarded. Find a way into Little Venezia and liberate the druid. I'll be hanging around near if you need me.
Felix, I'm not that heavy. If Mr. Asterix isn't happy, he could just move his machine all by himself. <laughs> Thank you.
must have flown at least three miles. Not bad, eh? Oh, Mr. Asterix forgot to say that he's the lad that magic potion he is.